Hello there, my name is Ismos and today I want to show you how to remove lights from refractions or any other objects from refractions or refractions. So this works only in cycles, I it doesn't, it's not supported in EV. So for example, I have this uh, quick scene here and I can see we have this cube which is a very reflective surface and it's reflecting this uh, glass object under uh, this uh, object and uh, then uh, this light as well. Uh, the light is a point light, but we can see that uh, we see a very large light source in the reflection, which is not visible uh, in the real world here. And you can see if I move this, you can see that uh, the light source moves as well. Uh, the quickest way to do to remove that is uh, by just reducing the radius size. If you want to have a specular highlight in your reflections, but uh, you do, when you don't want to get rid of it to if you don't just want to get rid of it completely, uh, but, uh, if you want to get rid of it completely, just select the object you want to remove the re from the reflections and uh, under the object properties, uh, under visibility, you should find uh, the ray visibility options and uh, you can turn off any of the options you want uh, to disable. Uh, for example, I don't want this light to be reflected in uh, reflection, so I can just find the glossy uh, checkbox and disable that to remove that from any of the reflections. Uh, here I can see that uh, we have this um, torus and uh, it's also visible in the reflections. If I don't want that to be the case, I just have to disable the gloss so that is not visible in any reflections. Uh, you can see here is uh, inside this refractive uh, cylinder. If I want it to if I want the part inside the cylinder to, be, to not be refracted, I can just select this and turn off transmission because that's where are the refraction. That is what supports the refraction. So if I turn that off, you can see it's kind of masked off in that area where it would, where it would be refracted. So yeah, that's a quick tip for you. Uh, if you want to bring it back, you just have to turn those on again. Uh, if you don't want any of the object to be visible in the camera, I just have to turn it off in the camera view and you can see uh, right now we're seeing this, what is left of it uh, because we're not really seeing it directly from the camera view, uh, but we're seeing it through uh, refractions or through the transmission uh, ray visibility. So if I turn that off, it will also just be masked away. Like so. We still see it in the reflections because here we still have it in the glossy uh, part of the visibility because uh, that's part of the uh, the reflections and I can turn that off like that. Yeah, so that's a quick tip for you. I'm not sure why you might want to use this, but uh, yeah, there are a few, I guess uh, maybe next time I'll show you different ways you can uh, apply that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you, share the knowledge as well. I can see we still have the torus and now we're seeing the shadow here. So you can just turn that off. I guess you can use this as a shadow catcher as well. So if you say you have you have a motion tracking scene, maybe let me add a background scene here. Uh, let me see what should I add. If I, I would have to composite that directly into the scene, uh, which is not something I want because uh, that's a process but uh, you can use that trick to be you can use that as a shadow cutter so for example uh, if I wanted to add a shadow to only have a shadow for this cube I'll just select the cube I'll go to the display settings and then turn off almost everything here turn off camera I turn off diffuse glossy transmission volume scatter now we're left with uh, the shadow. So that's how, that's a quick way to create a shadow cutter for you. So that's one practical use for that.